गाइस वेलकम बैक टू स्टडी विथ आर के टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेक्टर्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स एंड जनरल कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वेक्टर्स एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी जेनेटिक्स एन नीट एंड सी आल्सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज वैक्टर वैक्टर इज डी एन मॉलिक्यूल यूज एज वहीकल to artificially carry foreign genetic material which is our gene of interest into another cell where it can be replicated or expressed vectors are used as a tool in molecular cloning procedure so as to introduce the desired dna insert into a host cell the dna insert that is transmitted by vector is termed as recombinant dna or rdna and the process is also known as recombinant dna technology This one is example of PBR three twenty two. PBR three twenty two is a plasmid vector. As we know, mostly DNA is found in nucleus of cell. DNA that is also found outside the nucleus of cell, which is called extra chromosomal DNA or extra nuclear DNA or uh, cytoplasmic DNA. So plasmids are defined as extra chromosomal double stranded circular DNA molecules. it is found in various bacteria and some eukaryotes plasmid used as a vector because it's have ori site origin of replication which is modified for replication within the host so this one is ori site origin of replication plasmids also contain antibiotic resistant genes like ampicillin resistant gene tetracycline resistant gene that ensures that particular bacterial colonies has plasmids plasmids are self replicating thus it results in high copy number which means we get more dna and without chromosomal contaminations accordingly the design and features there are two types of vectors that one is expression vectors and cloning vectors so what is cloning vector cloning vectors are small piece of dna which have the ability and used to introduce foreign gene of interest into the host cell where expression vector is a type of vector which not only introduce a gene of interest into a host cell but also aids in the analysis of the foreign gene via relevant protein product expression then major function cloning vector used to introduce a foreign dna fragment into the host whereas expression vector used to express the introduced gene by producing the relevant proteins then features cloning vector consists of ori site restriction site and selection marker whereas expression vector contains enhancer promoter regions termination codon transcription codon transcription initiation sequence ori restriction sites and selectable markers then examples of cloning vectors that is plasmids bacteriophage bsc back bacterial artificial chromosome vector then cosmids then expression vectors examples like mostly plasmids next one is characteristics features of an ideal vectors first one is a cloning vector should possess an origin of replication ori site so that it can self replicate inside the host cell then second one is it should be easy to isolate and purify then third one is it should be small in size so that that it can easily integrate into the host cell then fourth one is it should have a selectable marker with an antibiotic resistant gene that facilitate screening of the recombinant organisms then fifth one is the cells transformed with the vector containing the dna insert recombinant dna should be identifiable and selectable from those transformed by an unaltered vector then sixth one is it should have a restriction site for the insertion of the target dna so this one is restriction site for the restriction enzymes like eco r1 and hin d3 then this one is restriction site for restriction enzymes like bam h1 and uh, xm a3 and this also is a restriction site for restriction enzymes like pst1 so here eco r1 hin d3 bam h1 PST1 all are restriction enzymes. Next, 
When expression of the DNA insert is desired, the vector should contain at least suitable control elements, for example, promoters, operators, and ribosome binding sites. So these all are characteristics features of an ideal vectors. Then general construction of a vector. A DNA molecule should possess the following three essential characteristics to act as a cloning vector. First one is origin of replication. Second one is selectable markers. Third one is multiple cloning sites, MCS or polylinker. Let's understand this one by one. First one is origin of replication, ORI site. So the ORI is the place where the DNA replication begins and enabling the plasmid to reproduce itself as it must to survive within the cell. So origin of replication is necessary for the replication and maintenance of the vector in the host cell. And for small DNA including bacterial plasmids and small viruses a single origin is sufficient. Larger DNAs have many origins and DNA replication is initiated at all of them. Otherwise, if all replication had to proceed from a single origin, it would take too long to replicate the entire DNA mass. The origin of replication determines the vector copy number, which could typically be in the range of 25 to 50 copies per cell if the expression vector is derived from the low copy number plasmid PBR322 or between 150 and 200 copies per cell if derived from the high copy number plasmid PUC. So the copy number influence the plasmid stability that is the maintenance of the plasmid within the cell during cell division. Then second one is selectable marker. So the selectable marker enables selection of the transformed cell. Selectable markers are often antibiotic resistance genes like uh, ampicillin resistance genes and tetracycline resistance gene. Then they help in artificial selection. In the cloning vector PBR322, the selectable markers are ampicillin and tetracycline resistance genes. The role they play within the selection of transformed cell from non-transformed cell is that they support. They also help to differentiate between recombinant cells and non-recombinant cells. So the selectable markers are extremely important because they act as a genetic text to easily identify successfully modified cells. Then third one is multiple cloning sites MCS or polylinker. A multiple cloning site MCS also called a polylinker is a short segment of DNA which contains many restriction sites. Restriction sites within MCAs are typically unique occurring only once within a pl given plasmid and the purpose of uh, multiple cloning sites in a plasmid is to allow a piece of DNA, a piece of foreign DNA to be inserted into the region. Then in PUC18 vector that contain a polylinker will cut only once by multiple restriction enzymes like uh, HIN-D3, ECOR1, BAMH1, then uh, SAL1, PST1. So each acting at its own site. Inclusion of a polylinker in a PUC18 vector. This permits cloning of restriction fragments generated by its cleavage of DNA with multiple different restriction enzymes. So polylinkers are introduced into vectors to make cloning easier by providing sites that allow cloning DNA cut with any of a number of different restriction enzymes into a single plasmid. So at last applications of vector, there are number of applications of vector. Cloning vectors are the most important group of vectors that are used for the transfer of foreign DNA into host cells for different purposes. Then one of the most important applications of vector is to generate engineering engineered organisms for a particular functions like engineering E. coli, Escherichia coli bacteria for insulin production. Vectors can be used to isolate a particular gene sequence within a genome and to determine its nucleotide sequence through DNA sequencing. Then cloning vector can be used for studying the structure, function and production of protein in different organisms. Vectors can also use to identify mutation in different regions of DNA sequences as well as to diagnose gene defects related to certain disease. Recombinant DNA technology, RDNA technology has been also used in clinical microbiology in different approaches like recombinant antigens, vaccines and diagnostic probes. Then 
Recombinant antigen prepared by cloning techniques by using cloning vectors have been used for the screening of diseases like HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, HCV, hepatitis C virus and CMV, cytomegalovirus. Then vectors are one of the components in molecular biology which enable numerous studies related to cell structure, nucleic acid composition and genetic engineering techniques. So it's a little glimpse about vectors. If you have any question, then you can ask in the comment box. And if you like this video, then do like and share with your friends. Thank you everyone.